The Dunwich Horror, acclaimed and favoured story by Lovecraft. Wilbur Waitley has been a long-time suggested figure to cover in my Lovecraft series, and he does indeed play a central role in the story itself. In the rural town of Dunwich, Massachusetts, on February 2nd, 1913, at 5am, Lavinia Waitley gave birth to a son, Wilbur Waitley. The date of his birth is noted for the night before. The hills rumbled and dogs barked incessantly. Dogs continued to show an instinctual hatred for him for the remainder of his life. Wilbur was immediately recognised for his hideousness, described as a dark, goatish-looking infant. He displayed unnaturally rapid physical and mental development. At seven months, he could walk unassisted, and eleven months he could speak. At four and a half years, he appeared fifteen, and he began to grow facial hair. Though he shared his mother's and grandfather's chinlessness, his firm and precociously shaped nose united with the expression of his large, dark, almost Latin eyes to give him an air of well-nigh prenatural intelligence. Something almost goatish or animalistic about his thick lips, large, poured, yellowish skin, coarse, crinkly hair and oddly elongated ears. At a young age, Wilbur took to wearing coversome clothes. He also had a revolting odour, this being a defining characteristic of the great old ones themselves. Wilbur's voice was distinctive for its strange, resonant fashion, which hinted at a sound-producing organ unlike the run of mankind's. This would presumably allow him to speak the language of the Great Old Ones. And, at 15 years, he had grown to 9 feet tall, and this showed no sign of slowing down. Prior to his grandfather's death, he left him with the responsibility of raising his twin, as well as ensuring he opened the gates to yog thought He could only accomplish this by finding the summoning ritual, on page 751 of the Necronomicon. He would then travel to Miskatonic, Cambridge, and widen a libraries in search of a complete version of the Necronomicon. They all, under the guidance of Dr. Armitage, denied him access. He was then forced to return to Miskatonic University to steal their copy. This attempt ultimately proved his downfall, when a watchdog savagely killed him. It succeeded solely because Waitley's revolver failed to fire. At this time, several disturbing truths about his biology would be revealed. In place of blood, he had a greenish-yellow ichor. Yellow and black markings covered his back, and from the waist down, he was covered in coarse black fur. A sort of rudimentary eye was positioned on each hip. His final words were the excerpt from the Necronomicon which he had been searching. Immediately afterwards, his corpse disintegrated into a sticky white mass, apparently having no skeletal structure. Out of the window, a swarm of whippoorwills were heard, shrieking in anticipation for his soul. They soon fled after witnessing their intended prey. Afterward, his diary and the contents of his library were transported to the Miskatonic University to be studied. So as you can see from this brief biography, Wilbur Waitley is a hybrid, a horror, though he isn't the horror of Dunwich in the story. He is a horror that hides in plain sight, the offspring of Yogg's thought himself, a hybrid between human and great old one, a bonding of the flesh and something new, something horrifying, even by comparison in the Lovecraft universe. It's interesting to note that his final words were indeed what he had been searching for. Whether this was instinctual or by some greater power isn't clear. His eventual disintegration into a sticky white mass, again, could be some form of disappearance to the great beyond, to his father, perhaps. I will eventually get round to reading the Dunwich Horror in audiobook format here on the channel. Last week's Lovecraft video was, in fact, The Cats of Altar. 
So if you want to check that out, please do take a look through my Cthulhu Mythos playlist. Anyway, and as always, please do let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And if you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving it a like and subscribing to the channel for more Cthulhu Mythos in the future. And to really help the channel out, if you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a share on your social medias as that helps get the channel and the video out there. I've been Mr. H, and until next time, I will catch you in the comment section.